Grace and peace, love and mercy from God our Father through Jesus Christ, our risen Savior and Lord. Amen. Thank you for tuning in once again to our video daily devotions. Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Poppy. We turn our attention today to the introit for tomorrow's divine service, the 11th Sunday after Trinity. Selected verses from Psalm 68. Psalm 68. God is in his holy habitation. He settles the solitary in a home. The God of Israel, he is the one who gives power and strength to his people. God shall arise, his enemies shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. But the righteous shall be glad. They shall exult before God. They shall be jubilant with joy. O oh God, when you went out before your people in your goodness, O oh God, you provided for the needy. Blessed be the Lord, who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is in his holy habitation. He settles the solitary in a home. The God of Israel, he, he is the one who gives power and strength to his people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I know that for many of you, you've been looking forward to this day for a long time. It's really the official State of Nebraska, beginning of a new church year. You know what I'm talking about. Certainly not talking about the 11th Sunday after Trinity. Today, after months and months and months of longing and waiting, today is the beginning of Nebraska football. In fact, many people have traveled all the way to Ireland to see the first game. Now, surely I jest, but there are things in this world, like Nebraska football, that can take on the nature of God, that can turn from fun and enjoyment and entertainment to downright idolatry. My friends, we pray that God would give us a good and healthy perspective when things, things that are God's good gifts become our idols, we pray that God would break them. And as a Husker football fan, God has been breaking that idol in this state for nearly two decades. I pray that we have learned our lesson. There is one God, the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He's the one. He's the one who gives power and strength to his people. He's the one who gives power and strength to you. How easy it is to forget when we look for our power and our strength, our pride and our status in everything and everyone aside from the one true God. My friends, God promises joy, real joy, joyful joy, promises that you shall be filled and be jubilant with joy, not in a football victory, not in any other kind of human accomplishment, but in Christ's victory over sin, death, and the grave for you. That's a victory that never tarnishes or fade. That's a victory that never loses its power and might and strength. Because in that victory, Jesus has won for the world the forgiveness of sins. That's right. For all of our sins against God's holy law. For all of our sins of getting the gifts of God into the wrong position in our lives, our sins of idolatry and greed and selfishness. 
for all sins and more. Jesus has paid the price. Jesus has risen victorious over the grave. Jesus delivers to you in the waters of holy baptism, in his holy precious word, in his holy supper. He delivers to you the forgiveness that no other God, real or imagined, can deliver. And with that forgiveness comes joy. Joy that is with you in a winning season or a losing season. Joy that is with you in prosperity or adversity, in sickness and in health, because this cho joy is eternal and it is found in and only in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now that is a victory we can all celebrate. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve, pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things that we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.